Representatives Andre Carson and Keith Ellison are Muslims, Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard is a Hindu, and Senator Maisie Hirono a Buddhist. But not a single declared atheist sits among the 535 lawmakers in Congress. The recently launched Free Thought Equality Fund wants to change that. Executive Director Roy Speckhart says among the public, atheists and those who question God's existence now outnumber Jews, Muslims and Mormons combined. We are in fact one of the largest minorities in the United States today, but you'd never know it from our organized numbers or political power. He says the fund will help candidates regardless of faith who support secular ideals. Candidates like New Jersey Democrat Rush Holt, who recently asked Congress to honor Charles Darwin for his theory of evolution. Maggie Ardiente of the American Humanist Association hopes some lawmakers will even come out as skeptics. I think this pack is needed because there's still a stigma against atheists and humanists and people who don't believe in a god. I think that so many people believe that you can't be good without a god and be an elected official in the United States. Robert Jones of the Public Religion Research Institute takes the longer view. In, in the American context, um, the word atheism has a sort of troubled past. It was associated with communism during the Cold War, and Jones says belief in a higher being is still seen as a proxy for morality. And I think um, for many Americans, um, sort of evaluating and saying, ah, does this person believe in God or not, is a, a sort of mental shortcut, I think, that many religious Americans at least uh, make when they're evaluating candidates. It's one reason so many speeches end like this. God bless America. God bless America. But with surveys showing one-third of adults under 30 don't identify with any religion, God's place of prominence in American politics may no longer be as assured. Jerome Sokolovsky, VOA News, Washington.